From Aisha, and she said, um, I came across your YouTube videos, and I'm interested in taking taking the CAP exam. Okay, great. Okay, good. And it says, I have watched a few videos concerning risk management framework, and I would like to learn more. I would like to know. Uh, I would like to know for someone who doesn't have the IT background, is it possible to find a job after having a CAP certification? And do you have any courses related to uh, the CAP exam? Okay, let me let me answer this, Aisha, uh, in a way in, in as frankly as I can. Is it likely for someone who does not have an IT background? So you don't have to have a huge amount of technical experience to do risk management framework. I, and the reason why I know this is because I know many, many uh, IT uh, security compliance people who who are not very solid on uh, technical uh, as far as hands on. They have a good working understanding of the technology. Maybe they went to maybe they have a bachelor's degree in computer science. Maybe they have a compute a back bachelor's degree and somehow they got into computer compliance, security compliance. And they don't have a lot of technical experience. That said, they usually have some kind of IT experience, whether that's working in a, a shop where they just did inventory with IT or they uh, <clears throat> they somehow got stuck writing policies or do, being a technical writer for IT or a program manager. They just did like they had six years of program management where they work very closely with information technology people and so they know and then they have maybe a couple certifications they know uh basic networking they know they understand tcp ip they understand the osi model they understand they have a solid understanding even though they're not super technical meaning they're not everyday troubleshooting servers or troubleshooting network uh networks and stuff like that so you, you do have to have some sort of IT background to do risk management framework. Um, even if you get the cap uh, to get the job, you they're gonna ex somebody's gonna expect you to have some kind of IT background. And and please, this is a conversation. So if anyone has any inf information, like use your experience. Tell me what you guys have seen in this field. In my experience, what I have seen is that normally folks do have some sort of background like one of my i recall in my last job one of my co-workers was pretty illiterate like he not illiterate but wasn't very technical and you could tell because sometimes he would say things that uh didn't make sense and then we have to explain it to him in different ways and he didn't understand what the security engineers were saying and there was a couple guys on our team that were like that. And they didn't have a lot of technical background. One guy had done it like many, many, many years ago. Like he was he, he was an older guy. Technical skills were way, way, way back, like in the 90s. And another guy, his were very thin, very thin. He had a master's degree and not, not a lot of hands-on. But both of those guys had a lot of experience doing risk management framework. One guy had done, he was a an SCA. He was a security control assessor, and he'd done that for like two years at his last at his last job. And he, but when he was doing that, he wasn't doing scans, he wasn't doing hands on. He was just looking at people's policies. He was a policy guy. He was just looking at their policy. Okay, do you have this policy? Do you have this in your policy? Do you, are you addressing the roles? Are you addressing the purpose? Are you like he knew the policies pretty good. And um, he knew he had a really good understanding how to write the documents. He was like a technical writer. So that those are the two guys, and they they didn't have a lot of hands on. So to answer your question, you do need to have some sort of IT background. You don't have to be super technical. So I hope that answers your questions. Now to to get the certification, the CAP certification, ISC two actually allows you to have. Uh, less than two years of experience. If you go to IC2's website, 
they have this breakdown of all of the requirements that you have to have, right? One of them is you have to have two years of IT experience in one of the seven domains that they have for the cap. But they said if you can pass the test and then get the experience within three years, you need to get two years of experience within three years, then you can you officially have the cap uh, certification. So there's like a way around the two year requirement. So, uh, and then well, let me see if I answer your second question. Is it possible to find a job after having the CAP certification? I, yeah, I would again say uh, it's, it, while it's possible, it's going to be improbable if you don't have the experience. Now, one thing you, you could have, if you're in, ver, there's a couple hot spots that, that uh, if you're there, you have a higher probability of getting a job. If you're in Virginia, Virginia has tons and tons of jobs for risk management framework and security compliance. Virginia, that whole area, Washington, D.C., that whole East Coast area has so many jobs. If you can at least get a, certif- a, uh, a security background check, um, if you can at least get an SSBI, if you can get a security clearance, they some companies will allow you, they'll train you on, they'll, they will give you on the job training stuff and build you up. I've heard of that happening. I mean, I think that's what happened to the guy who I said was doing uh, all of the documents. He didn't have like a lot of technical skills, but he knew documentation really well. And so that guy right there, his experience allowed him to level up because he had done that, the SEA job for two years. And in that other job, though, he was like a contractor. He was like jumping from contracting job to contracting job and 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 kept on getting these like six months to hire jobs. And then they would let him go and he would go to this other job. And he was just doing purely documentation stuff. So he had a clearance and that's how he was able to get those jobs. So it is it's prop it's. It's possible, it's not probable. You need the IT experience in some way, shape, or form. You have you have to get it. So, and, and the way you get that is to start at an entry level job and work your way up. So that's that's what I would say about that. And it, and she asked, he said, do you have any courses related to CAP exams? So I am working on one right now that specifically addresses all the objectives, the seven. Uh, domains and all the objectives in the cap course it's going to take it's been taking me a long time i've been talking about it since last year i work on it when i can but for now i have two courses that kind of dabble in the cap course one is called uh risk management risk rmf iso foundations that's probably the best one and then i have another one that focuses on documentation if you were to take that whole course it does talk a lot about stuff that's in the cap but it doesn't talk about it doesn't break down the objectives so it tells you how to do the job not necessarily uh how to pass the test so i hope that answers your question and uh, let me see if there's some insight into this one junior says junior kiss day says you can get the job um is your if you're able to nail the interview you don't have really have to really have experience but you have to have good critical thinking skills so you you can get the job if you nail the interview you don't really have to have experience you need to have good critical thinking skills and i would agree with that in that uh like i said i've known people who are not weren't didn't have a lot of technical skills uh but normally they started from the bottom still they they typically had some sort of IT job even if it wasn't super technical or if it was like many many years ago or they had something that some kind of feather in their cap but yeah if you can nail the interview if you can get in there if you are eligible and they need a a person to do uh they they really need a person that has an SSBI or they really need a person that has a TSEI they can look past a lot of things you know if you have you have the bachelor's degree they want you have the uh, you, you are eligible or you have a security clearance, you are living in the area and you live like around the corner from the job, you nail the interview, you got all those things going for you and you're willing to learn, you can get the job. It is possible, but if you have zero experience, it's going to be less probable, I should say. So 